The myth of Apollo and Daphne is a tragic love story of unrequited love and loss. It has been depicted in art and literature for centuries and its many themes make it a relevant story even today. Apollo was one of the most prominent deities in Greek mythology, born to Zeus, the god of thunder, and the titan Leto. As the god of light, Apollo's responsibilities included riding in his horse-drawn chariot every day, pulling the sun across the sky. He was also in charge of many other domains including music, art, knowledge, poetry, medicine, archery, and the plague. Daphne was the daughter of Peneus, the river god of Thessaly. She was a naiad nymph famous for her beauty. Being the beauty that she was, Daphne had many suitors, but she rejected them all and swore an oath of chastity, vowing to follow the virgin goddess Artemis. Apollo and Daphne's tragic story begins with Apollo mocking Eros, the god of love, insulting his skills in archery and his small stature. He teased Eros about his trivial role of making people fall in love by using his arrows, saying that arrows were for warriors and fighters. Feeling slighted, Eros decided to teach Apollo a lesson about his powers. He shot Apollo with a golden arrow, making Apollo fall in love with the first person he saw, who happened to be Daphne. Eros then shot Daphne with another weapon in his quiver, an arrow of lead. Anyone shot with these arrows would hate the first person you saw. For Daphne, this was Apollo. There was no way that Apollo's love for Daphne and her disgust of him could end well. Smitten by Daphne's beauty, Apollo began to chase her to make her fall in love with him, but she ran away from him in disgust and fear. This did not deter Apollo, who continued to chase after her. Finally, Daphne realized that she was about to be captured. In fear, she called out to her father, beseeching him to change her form and take away the beauty that had caused her nothing but trouble. Daphne's father answered her plea by turning her into a laurel tree. Just as Apollo grabbed hold of Daphne's waist, she began her metamorphosis, and within seconds, she had vanished, and instead, he found himself holding onto the trunk of a laurel tree. Heartbroken, Apollo vowed to forever honor Daphne. He made himself a wreath out of laurel leaves and placed this upon his head. He also made the laurel tree immortal so that its leaves would never decay. This is why laurels are evergreen trees that last all year round. The laurel became Apollo's sacred tree and one of his prominent symbols. It became a cultural symbol for other musicians and poets as well as athletes. This is how it got its association as a symbol of success and victory, worn by winning athletes. The tragic story of Apollo and Daphne may come across as a story of unrequited love, but it contains deep ideas of transformation. There is the physical transformation of Daphne, which is quite obvious. We also witness the transformations of both Apollo and Daphne when they're each shot by Cupid's arrow, as one falls in love and the other falls into hate. But there's also the emotional transformation of Apollo. At the start, Apollo has lustful feelings towards Daphne. After all, Eros is the god of lust and his arrows cause feelings of lust rather than love. However, after Apollo loses Daphne, he is truly moved. Perhaps he regrets his actions and how his lust destroyed a thing of beauty. It's clear that his initial lust for Daphne has transformed into deeper feelings. Apollo and Daphne's myth can also be seen as a metaphor for the struggle between chastity and lust. Only by sacrificing her body and becoming the laurel tree is Daphne able to protect her chastity and avoid Apollo's unwanted advances. The story of Apollo and Daphne has been a popular subject in art and literary works throughout history. Artist Gian Lorenzo Bernini created a life-size Baroque marble sculpture of the couple which shows Apollo wearing his laurel crown and clutching Daphne's hip while she flees from him. Daphne is captured just as she is transforming into the laurel tree, her fingers turning into leaves and little branches. Another popular depiction comes from Giovanni Tiepolo, an 18th century artist who painted the scene of Daphne just beginning her transformation with Apollo running up to her. There is some speculation that the famous painting by Gustav Klimt, The Kiss, depicts Apollo holding onto and kissing Daphne, just as she transforms into the tree. As stated in this article, perhaps the abundance of flowers on the female figure is a nod to this story. 
The woman's bare feet are planted on the earth and delicate golden threads appear to be holding her to it. However, this is simply speculation and the artist himself had never stated anything to this effect. The love story of Apollo and Daphne is one of the most tragic tales from Greek mythology. Neither are in control of their emotions or the situation, and the ending is tragic for both since neither find true happiness. Throughout history, this story has been studied and analyzed as an example of how desire can result in destruction. It remains one of the most popular and best known works of ancient literature. What did you think about Apollo and Daphne's story? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos on ancient mythologies. Thanks for watching.